Hello and welcome to this Garrett Common training presentation on how to set up port mirroring and how to use briefly Wireshark in a quick demonstration. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the web browser which we've already logged into the switch and we're going to go down to the relevant section in the menu tree to go to the port mirroring section to configure port mirroring. Now before we do we need to just give you a quick uh, heads up on where we are so my PC is currently connected to port 1 on this switch and the port which I want to monitor or basically record the traffic which has been sent and received on that particular port is port 7. So just, just to recap, so all of the traffic which has been sent out or which is coming into port 7 I want to in effect record it or photocopy it and then take those uh, recordings and photocopies all the, data, all the data which is being sent in and out of this particular port I want to send it out of port 1. So this will be my monitored port number 7 which goes to another switch and number 1 will be my sniffer port which is connected to my, my laptop which I'll be running Wireshark on to record that traffic. So we need to go to the configuration menu expand that out and follow it down to the port section expand that and finally go to the bottom which says mirroring and that brings us to this menu item. Now we want to go to the edit button and all we want to do now is enable port mirroring we want to select which port we're going to monitor which is basically which port uh, whose traffic we're going to record is port number 7 and which port we're going to, which port uh, our laptop is connected to, which that recorded traffic is going to be sent to, which is the sniffer port. So this is the port we're monitoring, we're recording, where we want to troubleshoot or test, and this is the port that we want to have our PC connected to, where all that monitored data is going to be sent to. Click OK, and that's it. That's the uh, setup. Very simple, very straightforward. So click OK. Now what we need to do is we need to open up another application called Wireshark. So if I show you what this looks like, this is Wireshark here, and uh, what is it? What it is is a protocol analyzer application. It's also called Etherreal until they change the name to Wireshark, but it's sometimes still known as that. And what it does is it gives us the ability to, if I open up is to take all the traffic which has been sent in and out of a particular interface and record it and display it to you so that you can look through all the different messages which are being sent and received. Now the output of it can be quite complicated and this course, this particular video won't cover uh, understanding what all these messages mean. It's just intended as a helpful tool on how to set things up on the Garacom switches. So we need to go to the top menu and here we have capture if we expand this out and then it says interfaces. We just click on interfaces that brings up this menu where we can select which of our three interfaces we want to record. So the first one is my wireless interface, the second one is my wired ethernet connection and the final one is my, v um, my, my, um, my VPN connection, forgive me. So if we click start on the wired ethernet connection which is what we are connected to the switch on and what this will do is it will display and record all of the messages which are being sent in and out of that particular interface including all the mirrored messages which we sent from port 7 on the switch back to our connected port. And here we can see all the span entry information not only from the uh, connected switch the switch we're connected to but also the switch that port 7 is connected to as well. Now to show you that uh, you can see what happens in real life if I open up the web browser and I click save click OK we will see a whole load of TCP SSL traffic which is basically all the messages being sent between my computer and the switch in order to do the uh, web browsing GUI configuration which we just saw. So that's what Etherreal looks like 
basically all it does is record all the messages that have been sent and received on, on a particular connection and display those to us at any time we can stop the recording and we can also so, uh, sort the traffic based on say protocol so show me all the STP messages show me all the SSL messages show me all the ARP messages we can sort based on source address or destination address so there's lots of different ways and means we can we can filter this traffic uh, there are filters as well as you can see up here to display only a particular value but as I said this won't cover the uh, how to use Wireshark in detail I just wanted to give you a real life demonstration of what port mirroring would look like so we close this down um, continue without saving and this final, finally there's two things and there's actually three things I need to mention uh, the first is that you can only set up port mirroring on one port at a time you can't mirror multiple ports on the same switch at the same time the second caveat is that the mirrored port and the sniffer port must be in the same VLAN and the final caveat is that all the messages that have been sent and received on the mirrored port will be recorded. And that concludes this training presentation. So on behalf of uh, Garricom, I'd like to thank you for your time. I hope this has been interesting and helpful. And um, that's it. Goodbye.